It's been five years since Cuba held its last military parade. Now, on the 50th anniversary of having declared socialism, another military parade will launch the Cuban Communist Party's Sixth Congress. Appropriate, perhaps, given the battle for survival that the island's socialist system is facing. The Communist Party, Cuba's only party, hasn't held a Congress since 1997. But after nine years of postponing the vital meeting, the party, referred to as the guiding force of Cuba's revolution, will gather for the stated purpose of modernizing and transforming the country's economic model, which by all accounts is in crisis. Since taking over the presidency from his ailing brother Fidel in 2008, Raul Castro has taken piecemeal steps to loosen the state's total control of the nation's bankrupt economy. But these steps have been insufficient, the Castro brothers both admitting that Cuban socialism must modernize or disappear. There is also recognition that after 50 years, the state can no longer provide from cradle to grave. At least half a million state workers are being laid off, forcing them to work for themselves. Cubans impatient for reforms hope the party congress will give them what they've been waiting for. The question is, how much free reign will ordinary Cubans be given? And will relinquishing some of its economic control weaken the one-party state's political control? As for its thorny relations with Washington... I doubt that the party congress is going to do anything directly in response to uh, the United States. In other words, there's not going to be any gesture that's clearly aimed at the, uh, aimed at the uh, United States. Another huge question, will Fidel Castro remain as the Secretary General of the Communist Party or complete the transfer of power to his nearly 80-year-old younger brother? What is not up for discussion, though, are political reforms, such as the recognition of opposition groups or the creation of any other political party. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.